Now are we live? Yep, we are live. Alright, let's just get the... Let's just wait for the dashboard to update on mobile. Alright. Oh, hang on. What's going on? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's get back to it. Alright, hello guys. Welcome back. And yeah, and today I'll be playing some Cray. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play some games um, from um, from other people that they're made. And yeah, and then we'll uh, create create some um, things in Cray. Alright, so first game is we're gonna do Norman's Great Adventure Part Two, uh, made by Gran. Okay, let's go. So here we have Norman, and he is exploring um, the world. Well, he's exploring a house at the moment. Ah, what a horrible smell, said Norman. <laughs> I never noticed that. That was so funny. The sound effects when <laughs> when it di when it when he dies. Oh my god, that that was just funny. Okay, alright, so there we got some toilet, toilet walls, clever design, pretty good, oh, god damn it, I keep, tr I keep dying, alright, there we go, oh my goodness, I'm just, it's not my lucky day, huh? Oh, uh, please note that uh, Cray is still in early alpha, so I just just thought I'd let you guys know that. I need to play again, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, come on, there we go. There we go. Alright, now let's press the shift key. Uh, oh. So how do we... Okay, so where can we go from... again. Hopefully the sound is okay and you can still hear my voice. Uh, please let me know if you can't. I'll change the... I'll see if I can sort of change the settings. Come on. Oh, I meant to get across. Alright, well, let's just keep trying. Hmm, maybe I need to go... No? Alright. Also, it's, um... It's pretty good to... Pretty cool to mention... Uh, the camera... 
how the camera is uh, positioned. Um, so you know, it's like it's just it's following you as it goes along, and you know, you can't you can't move it. Come on. So yeah, that, that's pretty clever. Come on. Oh, I seem to be stuck here. Come on. Come on. Hang on, I need to go back and uh, reset it, because, um, yeah, that, I just couldn't get, I just, I was just stuck. Alright, here we go. There we go, good. Ah, kept dying. Trick is just to, uh, yeah. Trick is just to be careful with uh, how many um, times you press in the space bar for Norman to jump. Okay, that was my fault. I pressed the uh, pressed the, f uh, the forward key. There we go. There we go. Come on. No, come on, Norman. Come on. Hey. Norman. Um. Come on, Norman. Ah, oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> I have to come back another time, I... See, when... Yeah. I'll come back another time when I think I know... Oh, okay. I'll be able to get it eventually. Well, let's play this one. Oh, let's, let's see what this one's about. Looks pretty cool. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Just waiting for it to load. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be too long. So, what is this game about? Well, all we know it's a mini game, so we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Welcome to Mars. Uh, hang on. This is the year 3229. You st stranded here since your rocket ship crashed on the other side of the planet. It made a big explosion big enough to send you flying through the air. Ooh, okay, interesting. Choose a way to go, but only one will lead you home. Remember to choose wisely. The other ones might be deadly. Muhohaha. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, okay. This reminds me of like uh, choose your own adventure books, you know. So um, basically, uh, what they were is um, you got to a certain point in the book. It's like, okay, do you want to? Do you want to? If you want to go this way continue to page 10 or if you wanted to go the other way continue to page 20 so books like that uh, okay let's go straight ahead that sounds fun imagine if he could actually fly that would be cool it's ghost norman okay we go down here. A 
I feel like I should keep going this way. Oh, nope. Okay, that's a dead end. Okay. Could we be running around in circles? I don't know. Let's go this way. <coughs> oh, I'm back at the start. Oh, so I went in circles. Okay. Let's go this way. Can we go up here? <coughs> Sorry about that. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so this, hang on, this is the start here, see, yep, yep, that's the start, well, only one will lead you home, hmm, you know, I reckon we need to go up that big rock, I think, or at least maybe go this way. Oh, maybe down here? Oh, yay! Oh. Hang on. Oh, that's weird. The game thing's not working. Oh, well, we're... Oh, maybe that's, uh... Hang on, oh, where am I? Hang on. Let's... Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what. Somehow I got defeated. Um, at least we know where to go now. Alright, let's try this again. Yep, so down here. Ah, oh, maybe it's a. Uh, Maybe it's a dud one. You know, just like a fake one, and there's an actual one somewhere else. What game is this? Uh, this is uh, Quay. Uh, so it's still in early, early alpha. And it's basically... Sort of like, if you want to, you know how uh, making games sort of requires, you know, code? Uh, this basically is no code required, and you can create games, or you could create um, anything you want, like an island or a boat. So, yeah, it's really, it's really fun, and really brings out your creativity. Okay, I, I can't find the exit, or... That exit was broken. Alright, let's see what other games. Uh, hang on, let's need to go to channels. And welcome to the stream, by the way. Uh, Crash Brandy Crab. Welcome. Hope you enjoy.
Okay, let's go. Oh yes, I need to get started on my sp on my um space park. Oh no ways, uh, space park challenge. She let's. Let's go here. So yeah, so I'll yeah, what I'll do after this is I'll show you um some of my creations I've built in in Cray and then we'll and then we'll build um and we'll start building something. What that is? It'll be a mystery. Okay, here we go. Ah, nice. Nice use of the animation prop. If I... If that should, that should be correct. Um... I don't know what I'm meant to do here. Maybe it's just like one of those games where I'm just looking around. It's still, it's pretty cool. And oh, that's a pretty cool effect with the smoke coming out of the, yeah, the chimney. Oh, what's through here? Ah, nice. Okay, well this is pretty nice. I don't know if there's a end, you know, end start or end thing, but still pretty good. And pretty good visual, yeah. Sorry, visually as well. All right, let's. I'll show you what I've um, my creations I've built. All right, so if we go to create and we go to my games, um. So, yeah, let's have a look at the bridge. So, uh, the story behind this one was, this was for a uh, builder challenge uh, that that we had running, um, I think it was a few months ago. And basically, what you had to do is you had to uh, design a bridge uh, to get, basically, um, get the people from point A to our point B which is um, these two pillars here so you could use anything you like you could use the uh, terrain tool uh, you can use the primitives so this was my bridge so the main sort of my main inspiration for it was actually bridges in real life, you know, like the Golden Gate Bridge, um, just any, any bridge in any country, and, and then I decided to add another sort of level here, um, so it's, you got like a floating island, uh, with, um, with a forest underneath, so, you know, if you, when you did walk over it, um, you'd see, you see a fo sorry a forest, and so to hold the the floating island, I made sort of like an an airship, um, that you know would basically hold hold it in place. So these are basically um, 
you know, f uh, fans. Oh, um, the platform. So, how you make platform um, uh, moves is you go into gameplay, and you got all these different props here. So, say if I want it to go up and down, I just place a place a lift uh, gameplay prop. And what I do is I left click, I go into target, I then target the uh, the primitive I want to go up, I left click again, go into settings, and then I can basically um, set how high I want the uh, how I how high I want the lift to go, and you can. Uh, change the the smooth um, smoothness of the um, of the going up and down. So if you want a smooth um, departure, uh, then you uh, select smooth, and then you can have it on ping pong. So hang on, wait a bit. Oh, hang on, what am I doing? So see, see how um, it's highlighted in the red. That means it's sending the power to the to the to the top here, which is then basically targeted uh, this primitive, and it makes it go up and down. And you, know, I can trick it along as it goes, so I can set it to how far I want to go up, like I've got with this one here. So. Basically, um, what settings for that? Let's see. So that's, so it only goes, oh hang on, no, that's not, that's the primitive. So position on, I've got it to, uh, 10, so, yeah, so, because I wanted it to go up to, uh, where the floating island is. Um, that's where I set it to. So yeah, so that's how you um, can make. Um, oh well, that's one way of making props move. Um, the other way is if you want to um, make a make a prop um, rotate is target that. Go into settings. And then you can basically, basically, it's basically just spinning it around, um, and you can even rotate it as well. Hang on, oh, hang on. So if I rotate it this way, you can see the primitive moves with it uh, as well. So if I put it and then the other the other one is also the um what's called a yeah sorry directional uh, mover <laughs> So again same principle it's just you know targeting that and then going into settings and then just setting setting that. So see how it's going like that. So that's how that's uh, some of the ways uh, you can um, make things move in Cray. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. <laughs> I've made. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, I'll show you my um my tank. All right. Um. So yeah, this is um the tank. Uh. So it's what I modeled it on, or 
what I was um, wanting to replicate is the uh, Tiger One. So not okay. It's not that accurate in terms of um, shape and uh, you know, like the side armor, but still, it's pretty close to um, to the actual thing. So, uh, so, so you know, I started off with the tracks. You know, I made the tracks first. And then you know, started to do the body, and then the I did the turret separate, just because it's easier to, you know, to move it into position once it all once it's all done. Because if you can see here, see all those yellow lines? That's um, basically all these primitives here that have been glued to the. Um, to the the main cylinder, which is the big one, um, and then all these parts here. So the body um, is is glued to this uh, red block here, which was used to move move it. Um, yeah, you you can drive. Yeah, you can drive it. Um, so, what you see here is basically the controls uh, for the for the tank. Um, okay, I'll just I'll just change the sound on this one. Tank engine. There we go. So I'll go into our play test, which you um, press uh, nine for. So, yeah, so I can basically drive it. I can even rotate the turret. And I can shoot. And, um, of course, uh, uh, this wasn't done by me. Uh, so, a person named um, Gran uh, asked me if I if I if he could uh, add controls to it um, when I released um, when I showed it off to the Discord chat and said yeah it's available as a box so he actually um, made the tank go forwards backwards left right made the torrent move uh, which was fantastic and even made it shoot so that was that was awesome. So yeah, so you can you can make stuff. Um, yeah, you can make stuff uh, move move by using um, directional move. Yeah, so directional movers, and also um, what are they? Uh, it's when you press. It's to do that. So when I press a certain key, it it rotates uh, this way and when I press another key it will rotate another way or I'll go forward and then I'll go backwards uh, so you could find um, how I built the Tiger Tank on my YouTube channel uh, channel name is Pod5 uh, Productions and yet you can basically see how I built it uh, so yeah I just talked through um, what I used, uh, if there was anything difficult uh, for me to, uh, that I had to overcome, like any challenges. So yeah, uh, that's on my YouTube channel. Alright, now, let me show you. Let's see. Show you this one. Alright, hang on. Um, let me just get the link to that video and I can. Yeah, I'll paste it in the chat. And yeah, you can watch it after the stream if you like. 
Sorry, sorry about that. <clears throat> uh, just got a sad little bit of. Uh, no, hang on. It's a copy link. Okay, so. Yeah, come on. So there you go. I've just um, popped into the chat the, uh, the video to how I made the Tiger 1 tank. So, yeah, if you'd like to view that, you're more than welcome to. Okay, so uh, this is another creation I made. Um, I sort of work on it. Oh, um, you don't. You don't. Um, you don't buy cray. Hang on. Uh, and just bear with me for a sec. Yeah, so um, it is in uh, still in early alpha. Um, so what that means is um, there might be you know a few scratches and sorry a few um, crashes, um, but and a few bugs. But that's um, that's early alpha. So. I'll just get the website, and what you can do is you can um, you can sign up, and it'll tell you how to um, yeah how to download. And we've also got a Discord um, that you can join. So yeah, there's the website in the chat. Yeah, Alpha. So there will be a few uh, bugs and crashes, but Hey, that's what we're here for, and that's, um, that's, um, yeah, we're here to report bugs. Oh, and by the way, I'm not a developer, I, I just started uh, to put that out there. I, I am a alpha tester, um, so yeah, uh, have a look at it, and if you're interested, sign up, and yeah, just follow the instruction once, um, once you sign up. Alright, so... I made a UFO. So, if you can, if you kind of, if you look at the um, the back, uh, it looks those. What these are? The trash cans. If you know what Rick and Morty is, you'll see the reference that I made on my UFO. So yeah, then we've got. So I've got a rotating. Uh, Radar, I think. Yeah, we also got one down here too. And yeah, so it's just a little simple UFO. And you know, these are the um the yellow panels. They're just like they're windows. <coughs> so bad. Uh, yeah, they're just windows. And. Yeah, so I'm kind of, I'm building like a, a city for for Norman. Um, if you don't know who Norman is, it's this guy here. He's pretty cool. Um, and down here, down here is a speedboat that I also made. So basically, yeah. So you know, designed it with the modern sort of day speedboat in mind. Um, I did try to make the throttle move, but didn't quite get that to work exactly. But um, I look unhappy with this boat. And see this here. So this is what's called a box. So if we go into the library and we go to where the box section is, um, this is basically where people upload their creations for you to use um, in a box so you know, we'll just wait for it to load takes a bit of time not too long but um, uh, 
Hopefully it doesn't hope it doesn't take that long to to load. So yeah, so say if you create a um a island game, uh you can um and you want to import one of these um, boxes, you can and you can use it in your game. Okay, so. So, see, that's um, the boat down there. Yeah, I, as you can see, yeah, there is two, but. Um, yeah, that's because uh, the, when, when adding a box, uh, you got to be careful not to press the add button so many times. Just press it once and just wait for it. And then then will upload. Okay. I'll show you another creation of mine. If I can find if I can find it in the box. Ah here we go. See, so then the boxes will appear all down there. And you can just um go through them by pressing Q and D. Alright, let's bring this up. Yep. So if you so this one, this is Thunderbird One. If you don't, so this is from the TV series called Thunderbirds, created by Jerry and Sylvia Anderson back in the six, yeah, sorry, sixties. So it's the uh, nineteen sixty-five version. <coughs> uh, the reason I say that because there is um, three versions of Thunderbirds, nineteen sixty-five version. 2004 and then 2015. So this one's based on the original uh, Thunderbird one. So yeah, it was the hardest challenge with this this creation was getting the uh, letters um, to fit and and the white scale. Um, but I'm I'm actually pretty proud of this one. Um, Oh, I'm proud of all my creations, but this one's um, I'm most proud of as well, as uh, um, along with the uh, Tiger Tiger One tank. Um, so yeah, so that's another one, and then <coughs> pardon me. I wanna show you show you now. It is available as a box, but it's a bit, you know, it's like too big to um, be shown. So to, it's a bit buggy with the box, at least when I tried it. Now where is it? Uh, no. Oh, where did I, where did it go? No. Huh. That's weird. I swear I had it. She uh, let's let's create me let's create new. I should be able to Alright, we're gonna go back into the box. Should be there. Alright, I think, yeah, after I show you this creation, we'll, um, we'll create something in Cray. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> uh, that might have been... Uh, my box, uh... Yeah, um... So what I've shown you, that was one of my creations, uh, that I boxed up. Um... Yeah, so it's um, just what I've created. Now, if I wanted to... Alright, so say I wanted to use... Yeah, so, you know, we'll bring in the um, the blue air airplane. So... Oh, come on. So, this is another box by... Um, uh, I don't know who this is um, by, but... Um, 
this is by another another uh, user I think like well, I think I can fly in it as well no okay Um, so yeah, that's, so that's done by another user. Let's see if I can find that other one. This is, yeah, this, um, took me, took me, a, um, few weeks to make this, uh, this creation. Sorry, not, not the plane, um, the one I'm going to show you. Sorry, the box I'm going to show you once it loads up and if I can find it. <coughs> ah, okay, here we go. Um, so, okay, no. Ah, here we go. Okay, yeah, see it's a bit, um, bit buggy. Right. Yeah, I, I think that's because it's just, it's like a really large box. Um, so I think that's why it's, uh, you know, it's buggy. Come on. How far do I have to zoom out? Uh, oh, okay. Luckily, I uploaded this to my... Oh, uh, I uploaded this uh, creation to my channel. Um... Now, um, just a fair warning, um, it is, uh, it is, uh, two hours and twenty-six minutes long, so, uh, I apologise for that, um, so yeah, you know, you, if you just want to, um, watch it in stages, you can, it's up to you, or if you want to watch the whole, um, uh, thing, go right ahead. <laughs> So, uh, what I just put in the, uh, chat now is, um, my creation for the, um, it was a rocket with, uh, launch tower plus space agency plus rover plus a house. Uh, so, yeah, you can see how I did that and how I, the, you know, but me basically building, um, the whole thing. So yeah, but uh, fair. As I said, uh, fair warning. T two hours and twenty six minutes long. <laughs> so yeah, all right, let's um. Alright, let's go create something. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to our primitives. Uh, primitives. Oh, um, I should mention these ones here. These are like uh, sort of pre-built um, uh, models. So you know, you got it like castaway. Um, you got weld. <coughs> You got Halloween. So yeah, those are pretty cool. <gasps> oh, pardon me. Alright. So let's say it. So we've got our primitives. I know, let's make a let's make a plat let's make a platform game. So alright, I wanna resize that. So by pressing the four key 
I can basically resize it. I can res resize it like that, or I could go long ways. I can go up. I can go down. I can even um, resize all four sides at the same time. Alright, let's start off with that. I reckon, let's see. Alright, let's let's make let's put this a bit higher. And then if we go into our gameplay section Let's get the lift. Now I could use three of the lift gameplay props. Um, but what's actually good about the targeting system is one, two, three. So I can basically target as many primitives or as many uh, objects as I want as I want to. Um, but you know, if I wanted to make them each go simultaneously different, I'd have to put uh, individual lifts. So, um, we want a smooth departure, and we want a ping pong. Yeah, I reckon that looks good. Alright, now we go back to primitives. Let's get the cylinder this time. And... No. Actually... Alright, now, now if you want, um, let's say, um, if you want the cylinder and these cylinders here to um, rotate um, all together, what you got to do is, you got to basically glue it um, to the object that is going to be uh, targeted for the main, you know, to spin. So, as you can see, I'm gluing all the uh, cylinders to the um, uh, the big uh, cylinder that I en enlarged <coughs> sorry uh, like that and then when I go to the gameplay props and get the rotator and I just need to target see and target that and yeah I can basically set it to whatever speed I want, so it could be like a slow one, or I could go fast. So let's do that, and then target that one. Alright, back to primitives now. Let's... Alright, now we want to... I want to rotate... This... Uh, yep, that way. So let's also... Oh, thank you for the follow. Um, what's also cool about this is you can actually clone the tool. Uh, sorry, clone the primitive. And... And I can basically line it up with that. Now, if I want to do some damage to the character, 
So, go back into your gameplay and... And I get the damage prop, which is the bomb. And basically what I do is... Oh, hang on. I gotta... Hey, come on. So what we're going to do with that, so now we've got the bomb pop attached, uh, let's go to the lift. Oh, come on. Now we want to rotate it. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Now we want to rotate it down, uh, downwards. So it's upside down basically, target. And then go into settings. Nope. Shit. Yeah, we're gonna let's make it elastic and we'll make it ping pong. Actually no not elastic. We'll just make it smooth. Let's just Alright, and now to complete the game. We put a um, end point here. So I can also adjust... So, where you see those light... Uh, sorry, white lines. They're basically uh, the radius. So, when the player enters... <clears throat> sorry, uh, this... These white lines here. It com it's completes the game so I can make you can make them you know I can make them bigger and I can even choose the, either the player or a prop to um, to do it all right so now we've got that that in so, you know, let's use the terrain tool uh, we'll go... Go here, and we... Let's paint. Let's paint the, um... Let's, let's have a snowy setting. So yeah, so we're just going to paint it so, you know, so it looks nice. Okay, now we've got the... Uh, now we've got the, uh, um... Uh, so now I've got it painted. Let's add some sound. So we go to our sound audio prop here. Let's just place it here. Click on it. Uh, let's go. <laughs> oh, this is a funny sound. Um. Okay, yeah, let's go with this one. You can, um, you can also adjust the pitch. Uh, you can even randomize it as well. Um, even play everywhere. And you can, or, if you don't want that, you could set a range. So, uh, so when a player will enter, um, these circles, it will play. But you can, you will be able to, like, you can increase it. Let's just go. We'll um, place it on play everywhere uh, for now. Or we can even 
these are what's called um, pickups. So, so these uh, they just they just give you points. Um, you know, once or if you go for um, and you know the hearts are lives. Okay. Now we've got that done, let's put in um, gameplay. Let's go get our starting point. And let's change him to Norman. Yeah, Norman's my favourite character. Oh, that is a good design menu. Oh, cool. I didn't notice Ghost Norman or Punk and Norman. Let's do Ghost. And what you can do is you can also um, uh, set the um, the jump height of it of him. So. So yeah, you can yeah, so you can mess around for all these settings. Oh, hang on, what's the oh this one here? This was a this one's a this is basically a world editor. So let's put some fog in. Would it work? I don't think so. Okay. Now let's now let's play. So see, I just I picked up um all those. Wee. It's like an act. He's actually like a ghost. Ooh, ow. Oh, poor Norman's getting hit. But he's a ghost, so he can go for anything. So let's see. Yep. See victory. So, so yeah. So that's basically just a simple, um, simple platformer game. You know, I might. I'm gonna tweak this a bit and. Yeah, this will be um, a next game release um, uh, for um, for me. So yeah, this will. So, yeah, so I'll just have to tweak it. So yeah, so that's basically just a simple uh, platformer. So uh, if you do decide to uh, sign sign up um, for Cray, and you know you have basically no idea what. Um, Everything, anything does. Um, there's a there's a learn cray section uh, in cray, and there's some um, YouTube. Um, uh, there's some people like uh, there's Gran and um, Scoot Scootan. Um, hopefully, I'm pronouncing the names right. If not, sorry. <laughs> Um, and they do. They've done videos on um, on tutorials. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, and also when you join our Discord community, uh, when you join the Discord um, community or server, yeah, um, we're here to help. Um, any questions you might have if you do decide to join Cray. She let's um let's create one more let's create one more little thing. Oh and also uh, this is very important if um if you when you do get if you do decide to download it save save your creations regularly 
because I tell you, um, because this is an alpha, the game will crash, and sometimes it won't save properly, so, um, so please do save, save your creations, um, frequently, so, just a helpful tip, okay, um, let's build a house, okay, so what we'll need is, we'll need primitives, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, we're gonna make the walls of the house first, So let's rotate it. Now I just need to reposition the camera. Now what's gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the door open. Ah, awesome. Well ho hopefully to uh, see you on the Discord server soon and and uh, see uh, your creations that you that you make. Alright, so no, oh, hang on, abandon that one. <laughs> now it's not perfect or anything; like it's not lined up. Um, alright, now, now for the, yeah, the door, let's just get the, uh, the spear, scale that down, oh, hang on, hey, come on. Uh, so this is basically the this is a door handle. Oh, and you can also um you can also paint the paint the door, uh, which is so you can paint the objects, which is uh, pretty cool. All right, now what we need is gameplay props. Um, yeah, we need yeah. Let's get the rotator. So target, target this one here. Go into settings. Um, let's just actually, yeah, ninety degrees. Yeah. Okay, it's a door. <laughs> it opens. Um. Oh, hang on, I forgot to put on repeat. Oh, come on. I think. She need to do that negative 90. And what I can also do is, let's, um,. Hang on, let's get a sensor. Where's the sensor? Oh, there's the sensor. There it is. Wait. So basically, what this allows me um, <coughs> to do is, is when a player enters, um, enter the the white circle. Um, that basically means that uh, it will it will open and close the door. Alright, so let's just go go for for a play test. Oh, uh, hang on. I don't know what I've uh, what have I done. Hmm. She maybe need to go get the no. Um, need to get a power generator.
Just gotta wait for it to load. Yeah, see, at first, yeah, the gameplay props are tricky to get your get your head around, but once you start using them a bit more, uh, then you know, then you'll start to be like, ah, oh, okay, this is how they work. This is how to do it. And there's um, there are videos on YouTube about how to um, uh, how to how to use them. I think, yeah, made by, um, I think that, uh, some videos made by, uh, Gran. Uh, so yeah, so he has tips, uh, on how to use, use them. Okay. Okay, that's better. Okay, um... Hmm, where am I going wrong with this one? Oh, okay. I've got it. Um, oh, that's why it's triggered by target pop. We need to set it to player. Alright, now that I've got that set up, and it should be working properly. Alright, gonna walk. And there we go. The door opens. Well, okay, it will repeat itself while I'm still in the circle. Yeah. So yeah, once so once I go out of the circle, it's gonna stop. Um, so yeah, so it's just gonna stay open. All right, let's um let's build the rest of the house. Okay. Go primitives. And use pyramid. Yeah, come on. And no, no house will be complete without a chimney or windows. We'll uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that um, after we've, after we put. Yeah. So there's the chimney. Now for windows, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, build them separate. And then what I'm, I'm going to show you a little trick that is really useful. Um, so there are two ways of doing this. You can either glue all the primitives together. Um, or you can press Control C and there you go. And then you can basically rotate the windows. And then, oh, hang on, we gotta rotate it. Alright, alright, okay. Hang on. Nine. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, back to... Now, we'll just pretend, yeah, the window's open. Um, let's colour it. Let's, um... Let's make the house... Let's make it bright and colourful. So, yeah, we'll make it, um... Make it different colours. Oh, okay, that's... Ah, oh, that needs to be repositioned. But, um... Also, another helpful tip is... 
when you're building, make sure to look at the uh, what you're building from different camera angles, just so you could um, just so you can blend it in um, more, and it doesn't either stick out or anything. So that's just um, another helpful tip that um, that yeah you could use. Okay, and there we have it. Um, actually, let me just. Actually, you know what we do is let's delete, delete. It's like we've still got the original design here. Control C. Actually, you know what? Let's let's make the windows open. There we go. Now, actually, let's um, let's save it first. Uh, so we're gonna call it uh, Simple House. All right. So yeah, now we now it's just saying waiting. And yeah, we just wait for it to save. It does take a um, just like a little bit, a little bit longer to save, but um, yeah, it's still good to save. And I, as I said before, save your creations uh, reg regularly, especially when uh, they do, when the developers do um, a live deploy. So basically, update. Um, update the server. Um, yeah, make sure you have your creations saved. Um, so yeah, nothing gets lost. Uh, they will announce on Discord that um, that create servers uh, will be down and affected um, as the live deploy is happening. So they will mention it on Discord, so you don't get a surprise that you suddenly <laughs> kicked out if. You if you're in the middle of, of building. <coughs> so... So yeah, um... Yeah. In create anything is possible. You can create anything you wanted to. Um, so yeah, it's definitely allowed my creativity um, to basically uh, open up, and I've been having so I've been having lots of fun with uh, Cray. So I, I I'm glad I was um, asked to be an alpha tester a while back uh, by them. <coughs> okay, so about it. that's a bit of a cough. Um, yeah, this has been uh, my stream, so I'm gonna try and plan to do uh, weekly uh, streams, if not one or two times a week. Um, so it'll just be different. There'll be um, like building sessions, and yeah, if uh, if you guys miss uh, my stream, it will be. A, um, put up on my YouTube channel, which is uh, Pod Five Productions. Um, so yeah, you can find a replay there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you. I'll see you in the next stream.